In this demonstration, we will show how to get variant data from the UCSC Genome Browser tables using the Data Integrator. We will begin at genome.ucsc.edu, the home page. We'll begin by setting the browser to its defaults, starting with the Genome Browser link in the pull-down menu, and reset all user settings. This sets the browser at the HG38 default genome assembly, and we will switch to the HD19 genome assembly for this demonstration. The Go button takes us to the browser graphic. Let's reset the browser by hiding all the data tracks using the Hide All button below the browser graphic, and then we'll turn on the UCSC genes track to pack. Now we'll navigate to a genomic interval, which, when deleted on chromosome 22, represents DeGeorge syndrome. In the text box, we'll type in the gene coordinates CHR22, 18,700,000, to 21,500,000, and hit the Go button. So now we have a display with 2.8 megabases of DNA on the page and all the genes in that region. Most genes have multiple isoforms, and we can reduce the display to a single isoform per gene by clicking on the little button on the left side of the gene track, going to the configuration page, and unchecking the box for splice variants. Now we're showing just a single variant for each gene. Let's turn on a couple of data tracks now that represent information about the phenotype of the genes in question. We'll scroll down the page to the blue bar group Phenotype in Literature, and we'll turn on the OMIM alleles track to pack and the OMIM genes track to pack. We can also turn on the Gene Reviews track to pack, and then the Refresh button will give us these three tracks turned on. We can see that there are only two genes for which there are authoritative reviews in the NCBI Gene Reviews Compendium, but there are multiple genes that are annotated by OMIM. Both at the gene level, the gene is relevant for phenotypic relationships and disease states, as well as a number of individual alleles for these various OMIM genes. Now let's go to the Tools menu and navigate to the Data Integrator using the pull-down menu. You'll see that the browser remembers what gene interval we were looking at. You also have the option to load in multiple regions, if you have multiple regions that you're interested in all at once that are not contiguous in the genome. We'll begin by adding data sources, and we'll start with the track group Genes and Gene Predictions, and we'll add the UCSC Genes track to the list of tables that we're going to interrogate using the data integrator. Now let's add another data set from Phenotype and Literature Group. These track groups reflect the same structure as the blue bar groups on the main page, back at the Genome Browser graphic. We'll go to Track OMIM Genes, add that, and Track OMIM Alleles, and add that data set. We will use the Choose Fields button to allow us to pick out which bits of data from these three tables we're interested in, as well as some related tables. We'll start with UCSC genes, and we'll simply clear all of these data fields. We'll add in the related table, the KG cross-reference table, and we'll select Chrome, Transcription Start, Transcription End from the known gene table, and Gene Symbol from the KG cross-reference table. And for OMIM genes, let's just get the name of the gene and not repeat the chromosome coordinates. We'll relate it to the table OMIM phenotype, add that table to our list, and we will choose a description which gives us a phenotypic description in a small number of words for the individual genes in our query. And then for the OMIM alleles table, let's just get the chrome start, as these are typically single nucleotide alleles and chrome end will be obvious, and we'll get the name. Finally, the done button at the bottom takes us back to the main page, and we're ready to get our output.
we simply get output and dump the data to the screen, which is suitable for porting it to programs or some kind of script if you want to mine the data. Let's go back to the data integrator and load it directly into a spreadsheet by sending output into a file. We can call our data variant data, and at get output, we're now asked to save the file. It will load each column into columns on the table using tabs as the delimiter, and so each of the columns from the various tables will be incorporated into the spreadsheet into a separate column. I'm going to double click here at the top of column F to expand the OMIM Gene 2 OMIM Phenotype Description field so that you can see all of the descriptions that are reflected in the data. That concludes our demonstration of how to export data using the Data Integrator. This tool can be used for integrating data from any one of the data tables in the Genome Database. It's possible to add data from up to five different primary tables in the browser, plus, as we have already demonstrated, many of the secondary tables as well. Thanks for watching, and thanks for using the UCSC Genome Browser.